I was looking through the internet to see if I can find some easy dessert that I can make and I came across this one. I figured I have the ingredients I need. It looks pretty easy. It looks delicious too. Look at that. So nice and creamy and it's easy. Hey. I can make it. This is a no-bake cheesecake. The recipe is from Preppy Kitchen and the link will be in the description below. So this is what you're going to need for the recipe. Two cups of graham crackers, half a cup of unsalted butter, a quarter cup of granulated sugar, four blocks of softened Philadelphia cream cheese, a quarter cup of sour cream, one tablespoon of lemon juice, one cup of powdered sugar, one tablespoon of vanilla extract, and half a cup of heavy whipping cream. Okay, to make the crust, I have the bowl, I have a quarter cup, I have half a cup, and I also have a full cup that we'll be using. With the graham crackers, we're gonna do about two sleeves in the processor, although we're only gonna use two cups of it. I'm doing two sleeves and I'm going to get a plastic bag and put the rest of it. I'm only going to use two cups of it, so there goes Sari on the back, my helper, and then I have Link in the corner watching. Good boy. I love the way it just breaks things down. Look at that. So quick. This is an old machine though, so it's very noisy. I'm glad you can't hear it. Okay, this might be a little too coarse, so I may have to run it again. Yeah, I'm gonna run, I'm gonna run it. That's better. So it's two cups. Hey, Saria, that's my helper. Now I'm going to take half a cup of butter. I'm going to microwave it, and just make it, just melt it. Make sure it doesn't burn. That's good. Okay, now I'm going to use a quarter cup of sugar. I'm going to pour it into the mixture and mix it up really good. Hey Zelda, that's my other helper. It's a madhouse. I have my 9 inch spring pan. I pour the butter into the mixture. Mix that up really good. It's looking really good. Okay, I'm going to put it in the pan and then with the glass I'm going to go around make sure that I bring up the edges. Give it a nice crust. I put the crust in the freezer while I come and do the mixture. I'm going to use four bricks of softened cheese, the cream cheese. I'm going to break it up first. And then I'm going to use the mixer to whip it up. It looks so creamy, but it's going to look even better. I'm going to use one third cup of sour cream. There we go. And then I'm going to use one tablespoon of lemon. I use fresh lemon, I squeeze it, but you could use it from the bottle. It's up to you. I love the smell of lemon, it smells so good. And it's going to give it a tangy taste. Here we go, one tablespoon, squeeze it out. There we go. Smells so good. I'm gonna use one cup of sugar, powdered sugar. And 
and I'm going to use one tablespoon of vanilla extract. I like to use pure vanilla extract. And it, as it whips around and blends around, it looks so good. Oh God, and it smells so good. Can't wait. It has a nice smooth texture. Silky. In a separate bowl, I'm going to put half a cup of heavy whipping cream. And I'm going to use my whisk in order to get it all whipped up. There we go. I love the way it just falls off. I'm always scared that I might turn it into butter. Oh, it looks so nice. Okay. Now I'm going to fold it into the mixture. All of it goes in there. And I fold it in. Fold. Fold. Now I took the crust out of the freezer and I'm going to pour the mixture into the crust. It's a good texture. Creamy, smooth. I'm gonna get every bit of it into the crust. I'm gonna smooth it out, even it out. Nice and smooth. Rock everywhere. Okay, so then I'm gonna go ahead and cover it with plastic and put it into the refrigerator to chill for about two hours. But I'm actually gonna leave it overnight. I got things to do, folks. Be back tomorrow. So it's the next day and I took the cake out of the refrigerator. I'm now going to make some whipped topping. I'm going to use one cup of heavy whipping cream, half a teaspoon of vanilla extract, and half a cup of powdered sugar. Normally you would have fruit to top it with, but my family prefers whipping cream, so I, that's why I'm making the whipped cream. I'm going to beat it till I get the right consistency. If I beat it too much, you, I'm going to get butter. No, I don't want that. I'm using this size of the floral piping tip. Put it into the bag. I'm going to scoop in the whipping cream. Make sure I get all of it in there. It's kind of sloppy, but it's nice and smooth. I'm going to go around the pan with a spatula to disconnect it from the pan. Remove the pan. Smooth out the rough edges. There we go. Then I'm going to sprinkle some of the leftover graham crackers. Now I'm ready for the piping. Testing. Okay, here we go. One. Isn't that pretty? This is my first time piping, folks. What do you think? This recipe was easy to make, folks. If I can make it, you can make it too. Look how pretty it looks. Picture perfect. Now I'll just pass this over to a prettier plate. I have my crystal dish right here. Ready for company. Always so. the best part. Cuts good. <laughs> she came out of nowhere. The other one too. Get out of here. Get out of here.
it's delicious. It's delicious. Be sure to like and subscribe and I'll see you guys with the next recipe.